In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extend um, a kind of ground plane. So for example, if you have a complex terrain or something like this, a landscape, and you want to build additional terrain off one of the sides of this model or all the sides of this model, um, this is one way to do it where you can sort of flatten it out so it's sort of seamless. Instead of a sharp um, change in topography to something very flat, you can kind of gradually reduce it into flatness. So to do that, um, I just made a plane here with a noise and a ripple modifier. And I'm going to go ahead and add an edit poly modifier and then open up the edit poly. And I want to get the edge. So in this example, I'm going to extend this edge here. So to do so, you can select an edge and you can hit loop over here. You can hit loop up here or you can hold down shift and select another edge in the direction you want to create a loop. I'm just going to go ahead and hit loop. Um, and then that's the shape that we're going to use to build this other kind of geometry. So the first thing I'll do is hit create shape over here. I want to hit the settings next to that. Uh, in this instance, you always want to use a linear. Otherwise, you're going to get smooth vertices. And we just want an exact uh, replica of these edges. So we're, just going to hit, we're going to hit linear and say OK. Um, once you have that, you can go ahead and hide this for now. And you should be left with this one edge. I'll change the color here just so you can see it a little better. So what we want to do now is create another copy of this. Um, and one thing you might do, uh, you'll notice the pivot is off to the side here. If you, this is just for, uh, you know, if you want to make the pivot um, centered this object, you can do this. It's not really going to affect anything, but it kind of, um, it's easier to navigate with that. So to do that, you can hit the hierarchy tab here, say affect pivot only, and then center the pivot to the object, and then deselect pivot only, and that just kind of resets the pivot for this line that you detached. Okay. So now we have this line. We're going to make a copy of it. So you can either go to Edit Clone to make a copy or hold down Shift and move in the direction that you want to copy. And I'll start with, um, you know, kind of spacing like that. Say OK. And then I'm going to go to the vertex sub-object of this line. So it makes an edit spline as a copy. And I want to go to the vertex sub-object level. So now I'm going to go to the front view. You can go to the front view by selecting front here or just typing in F. Or really whichever elevation you're working in. So if I'm in the right view, I'd want to do that. Um, and sometimes you're going to have a ton of, of vertices here. This one's not too hard, but um, it's still a good idea to kind of reduce these. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. You know, except for like at the apex um, of these valleys and the, the hills. I want to keep those because those are what are gonna, I'm going to use to kind of move this around. So I'm going to delete a lot of these. And then um, if you look back in perspective, you can see I sort of simplified that line a bit. You might also need to go to the top view and you can move vertices this way if you have a kind of a more organic edge. But in this case, it's flat, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to go back in the front view, and I want to basically level the, out this ground at about this level. So what I'll do is I'll kind of slowly move these vertices um, to, to be close to that, but I don't want to do it too drastically. I want it to be a little bit gradual. So I'm just going to start moving these up, you know, making them a little flatter on this first pass. Okay, then you can go back to perspective view. So you can go to perspective here, just type P. I'm going to now make a new copy of this line and drag this one out. Say OK. Go back to my front view. And in this case, I want to, I think it's probably OK to make them all flat. So what I'll do is I'll um, turn on my object snaps, which is up here. I'm going to right click on that, which will give me access to my options. So the first thing I want to check is I want to make sure my snaps are set to vertex or endpoint, because these are vertices or endpoints. I'm going to turn off midpoint for this. And then you want to go to Options and make sure that your Enable Axis Constraints is turned on. This will allow you to move and snap a vertice in one axis only. So you want to make sure that's selected. So now with that selected, we can pick a kind of line we want to match here. So let's say it's that vertice. So I'm just going to select one at a time and move up on the Y arm of the gizmo and then snap it to that vertice. So this will make sure that they're all aligned in, in that uh, axis. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of them. Okay, so now I have my flat line. So that's going to be the gradual uh, transition from that complex outline to the flat outline. Um, I can then go back to perspective view. And now you want to attach these because we're going to make a cross section and make a surface out of these lines. So you want to make sure you do this in order. So you either want to start with this line or this line. You can then go over to the Modify tab, Attach, and attach these in order. 
and then deselect attach and then let's go back to the vertex of object level so the key here is to make sure that you're matching your vertex number so if I select all these vertices you can see that I have nine vertices but in this first line I have 21 so I need additional vertices here so what I can do is go to the segment sub object level select a segment and for example if I go back to front view I can see that I need two vertices within that length and I can actually just do both of these at the same time and then let's go to divide so I'm at the segment sub object level divide and you divide it into two and that adds those two vertices you can see on this next one I need to divide it once so I'm going to go down to one here divide um, this one's also once these two um, on this one I'm going to need two vertices so I'm going to increase that to two this one's also two vertices and then this one is one vertice and this one is two vertices and again we have one vertice so depending on the complexity you know it might be a little more challenging but the goal here should be to match the number of vertices for each line and the other thing you need to make sure is that the first point which is this yellow point is on the same side of these lines if it's not you want to make sure you select that first point and over here on the right under vertex of object level you can hit make first and, and that assures that all your first points are on this side um, the next thing you can do is add a cross section modifier and that will create a cross section across the, that plane um, then you can add a surface modifier and the key here is you want to make sure the patch topology is set to zero um, and the reason for that if I unhide now that original form and I turn on my edged faces um, you want to make sure that you have the same number of subdivisions on both sides of that because we're gonna have to weld this seam if I have a higher patch topology and I add edit poly here you can see it's um, increasing uh, you can see here it's increasing that number of subdivisions so that's not gonna weld correctly so I want to make sure that's zero so they're even and then all you have to do is select uh, the original edit poly go to an edit poly modifier and then hit attach and attach your new uh, geometry to that edge uh, there's a few things you have to check after that if you go to the uh, element of the edit poly you want to make sure these are facing the same direction you can see right now the normals of this one are up but the normals of this one are down so I want to select this one and make sure I flip the normals over here so that they're both facing the same direction and the next thing I want to do is make sure these are all welded so I want to select all these vertices along this edge um, and you can go to the top view it might be a little easier you can select all those vertices and hit weld and it should now weld that surface to the other surface the other thing you can do if you want to now subdivide this a little further um, you can select edges maybe I select these Oops, I select these two edges and I can or actually all these edges um, and you can say over here under connect under the edge sub object level you can start to connect and add additional lines but you want to make sure you get the general ones in first and then add these other ones so that you enable it you know to be pretty smooth um, so if you want you can start to add these to kind of better match the topology on this side um, once you're done with that you can turbo smooth or mesh smooth and you'll see that you'll get a really nice transition from this more complex form to a more kind of normative or regular ground plane.